Today, we're doing strengthening critical reasoning questions, and there's one trick to these that make them a lot easier, and I'm gonna show you what that is, and then we're gonna run through an example. I also have a bonus for you, my top five tips to raise your GMAT score 50 points fast. Most people see results in about a week or so. It's yours completely free. You can download it right in the description. Okay, let's tackle that critical reasoning. The secret for nailing strengthening questions is really pretty simple. First, pull out the conclusion, because we always pull out the conclusion, and then ask yourself, which answer choice makes the conclusion most likely to happen? We're looking for reasons why the conclusion will be successful. When you're looking for the conclusion, you're looking for what you want to have happen. It's the goal or the prediction or the preferred outcome. Write down the conclusion in a single declarative sentence and do not start with the word because. The evidence is why the conclusion will happen or how the conclusion will happen. Some people think of it as the mechanism for making the conclusion happen. The idea is the conclusion must be right because of this. So the argument is some variation of because of this evidence, the conclusion must inevitably be correct. Now it's best to write down both the evidence and the conclusion. All right, let's do an example. This is a bit too long to read out loud, so go ahead and read it to yourself and then we'll dive in. Okay, first, what's the conclusion? What's the goal? What is it we're trying to accomplish? That's right, we wanna increase vitamin A among people in the region. Now, how do we do that? What's the mechanism we're gonna to use to increase vitamin A? That's right, we're gonna plant the 004 sweet potato plant. Now, we're being asked to strengthen the argument. So we're looking for reasons why planting the 004 will in fact be successful in increasing vitamin A. Okay, let's go through the answer choices. Well, answer choice A is looking pretty good. It's saying that 004 can in fact grow in the area we wanna grow it in. Well, that would be a reason why this plan might just work. We'll keep A around. B is out. We are looking for a reason why planning 004 will in fact increase vitamin A. At best, B is irrelevant. At worst, you know, maybe people won't eat the 004 because it looks and tastes kind of funny. Either way, that's not a reason why the plan will work. Now, C is sneaky and a pretty common trap. Our argument is concerned only with 004 increasing vitamin A in the region. The argument is very narrow and very specific. Do we care about other varieties of sweet potato? We do not. C is out of scope. D has exactly the same problem. It's the same trap. We only care if 004 increases vitamin A in the region. Do we care about other nutrients? We do not. We only care about vitamin A. E, that's out for the same reasons as C and D. We don't care about other vegetables. The argument, again, is very simple and very specific. Planting 004 will increase vitamin A. We don't care about anything else. So our answer is A. Nice job. So remember, whenever you're being asked to strengthen an argument, you're looking for reasons why the conclusion will actually happen, why the prediction will come true, why the goal will be achieved, or why the plan will succeed. So that's the key. Just ask yourself which answer choice is gonna make the conclusion more likely to actually happen. Also, don't forget about your free bonus, my top five tips to raise your GMAT score 50 points fast. It's yours completely free. You can download it right in the description. Okay, great work. See you next time.